classes today we are going to discuss about the triangles in the last video of the triangles we got to know about the different types of triangles and what are those triangles properties and subsequent of them today we are going to see the problems on the basis of triangles now here in this video you are going to learn the formulas and methods to solve the problems of triangles here I will solve seven problems where you will get the idea of the triangles first one if ABC is a triangle where AB is equal to 3 cm BC is equal to 5 cm and AC is equal to 4 cm then find its perimeter as you know that there are three types of triangle that scalene isosceles and equilateral scalene means where all three sides are unequal equilateral where all sides are equal and isosceles where only two sides are equal here 3 5 4 are three different sides so it's a scalene triangle first let me draw a triangle this is a scalene triangle and here a b and c these are the three sides and let name as ab is 3 cm bc is 5 cm they ask you to find you the perimeter of that triangle here the perimeter of scalene triangle is p is equals to a plus b plus c it means perimeter is equals to sum of its all sides here 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equals to 12 centimeter the units are very important during solving the problems without units when you write just the numerical value then it will be considered as wrong during the evaluation here perimeter means the length of the boundary the total length of the boundary is known as perimeter when we consider to circles it's known as circumference when we come to the circle it's this perimeter is known as circumference this we can also tell as boundary this is also known as perimeter circumference and boundary now let's solve the next problem the length of the base of triangle is 4 cm smaller than of its altitude here let's take first let's take the given data here given data is the length of base of triangle is smaller than length of its altitude here the base is 4 cm smaller than altitude if you don't understand the problems read twice or thrice then you will easily get to understand the question the length of base of triangle is 4 cm smaller than the length of altitude if we considered altitude is equals to x cm then base is equals to x minus 4 because it's 4 cm smaller than its altitude so x minus 4 any triangle when they give you the altitude and the base then the formula to find the area and here other the thing is given is area of triangle is 96 cm square this also you should mention area is equals to 96 centimeter square this is the area and when it comes to formula when they given altitude and basis area is equals to half into base into height here height means also known as altitude however they given area area is equals to 96 centimeter that is equals to half into base is x minus 4 into height is x and here 96 into 2 is 26 that 12 2 9 is 18 that is 192 is equals to when you multiply x with x it becomes x square and when you multiply 4 into x is then it becomes minus 4x here 192 is equals to x square minus 4x when you take the LCM of this total 192 is equals to x square by 1 minus 4x 
is the solution when you solve this equation on take common x 192 again same you will get no need to multiply here x minus 4 into x is equals to 192 that's x square minus 4x is equals to 192 here you should find a value that which fits here exactly the value is x square minus 4x is equals to x square minus 4x is equals to 192 this is the value and when you take whole root of this here root on both sides that's root of 192 is equals to root of x square minus 4x here you can express that x square minus 4x as x minus 2 is equals to x square plus when you take here x minus 2 whole square is equals to x square plus 4x x square plus 4 plus minus 4x this you will get while you do x square plus 4 minus 4x here when there is a root here then you, will, you can take that x minus 2 root of here the value will be x minus 2 root of 4 this will be the value that's x minus 2 into root of 4 here however you know that root of 4 is x minus 2 into 2 that's root of 192 is equals to 2x minus 2 here 2 if they asked exactly the x value then you can take don't need to solve this equation if you want just the x value here you can take as root of 192 by 2 is 2 plus 2 is equals to x this will be the value of x when you substitute in this equation you will get exactly 96 centimeter square next Two sides of an isosceles triangle are 12, 12 cm while third side is 20 cm. Here this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means where two sides are equal. Here this is 12 cm and here again it's 12 cm and this one is 20 cm. Here the given distance is given data is this let's mark this as a b c a b is equals to a c which is equals to 12 centimeter and b c is equals to 20 centimeter this is the given data when the problems are like this when they don't give the base and height then the formula is root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c i'll make it i'll write it once again here that's root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c this is the formula when they give you the three sides of a triangle a b c and here s is equals to a plus b plus c by 2 this is the semi perimeter s means semi perimeter semi perimeter is equals to a plus b plus c by 2 here the value of s is equals to 12 plus 12 plus 20 by 2 that means it's 20 12 plus 12 is 24 and 24 plus 20 is 44 44 by 2 is 22 this value is 22 centimeter now let's solve let's 
solve this problem according to formula here root of s yes is 22 22 into 22 minus 12 into 22 minus 12 into 22 minus 20 this is the same way which you can follow when they give sides of scalar and triangle here 22 minus 12 is 10 and again 22 minus 12 is 10 and 22 minus 20 is 2 here when you want to solve this root first make it into the prime factorization here 22 you can write as 11 into 2 and 10 you can write as 2 into 5 again same 2 into 5 into 2 here take two digits which are common 2 and 2 are common here 5 and 5 are common and 2 and 2 are common here which is equals to from these two one is one came out and from these two two one is out and one from those two five is out and the left one which is inside is root of 11 here two twos are four four five is a 20 that's 20 root 11 is the area of the triangle 20 root 11 centimeter square is the area of this triangle next find the area of the triangle having sides 5 6 7 unit lengths the same formula which you have to follow is root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c you can pause the video and check it yourself to solve the answer now let's solve this problem here s yes means semi perimeter here s is equals to a plus b plus c by 2 here is which is, is equals to 5 plus 6 plus 7 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 7 is 18 18 divided by 2 means it's 9 here root of 9 into 9 minus 5 into 9 minus 6 into 9 minus 7 which is equals to root of 9 into 4 into 9 into 3 into 2 9 minus 7 is 2 so what you can do is here root of 9 is 3 and root of 4 is 2 so here the left numbers are 3 to 0 6 inside the root so 6 root 6 is centimeter square or 6 root 6 unit square here they did not mention any unit so you can write as 6 root 6 unit square is the answer of this problem next the perimeter of isosceles triangle is 100 centimeter here isosceles triangle means sub, there are two sides are equal these two sides are equal and if the base is 36 centimeter here base is 36 centimeter here let's consider as a b c this is 36 centimeter these these two are same and this is different and the perimeter of isosceles triangle is 100 centimeter here p is equals to 100 centimeter when it comes to perimeter of isosceles triangle perimeter is equals to 2 into side plus base here the side which is same that you have to take let's take this both side named as x because both are equal so i'll take it as x 2 into x plus here b is 36 and perimeter is 100 100 is equals to 2x plus 36 so 2x is equals to 100 minus 36 is 64 and x is equals to 64 by 2 which is equals to 32 centimeter here these two sides are 32 centimeter
here next one if in a right angle triangle the base is 4 cm and the hypotenuse is equals to 5 cm find the length of its perpendicular here this is the right angle triangle a b c and this is the right angle here hypotenuse is 5 cm and the base is 4 cm as you know this the formula of right angle triangle is hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus base square hyp square is equals to adjacent square plus opposite square here this will be the theta here opposite hypotenuse is phi square equals to 4 square plus opposite square phi square is 25 minus 16 I had skipped one step that's 4 square 16 I have directly transferred this side which is equals to and 25 minus 16 is 9 equals to opposite square opposite is equals to 3 here directly when you take root 9 which is equals to 3 so this is the length of its perpendicular which is equals to 3 and find its area when you come to right angle triangle you can use half into base into height when sides are given you will be thinking about what is the height the base is this when you take 4 and height is 3 here in the right angle triangle height is the perpendicular so area is equals to half into this is 3 centimeter half into base is 4 and this is 3 so 2 1s are 2 2s are area is equals to 6 centimeter square next one this is the question which gives you the new formula the side of length of equilateral triangle is 12 centimeter find its area the area of equilateral triangle is area is equals to root 3 a square by 4 here a is side and this a is area so area is equals to root 3 a square is 12 square into 144 by 4 so area is equals to 4 ones are 4 3s are 12 2 remains 36 so 36 root 3 is the area 36 root 3 centimeter square is the area of this equilateral triangle so I hope you have got the different models of the problems of triangles and different formulas so let me give a short recap here the area are has three formulas that's area is equals to half into base into height when base and height are given and area is equals to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and area of equilateral triangle is equals to root 3 a square by 4 and s which is equals to semi perimeter a plus b plus c by 2 and perimeter is equals to sum of all sides these are the formulas which are used in the triangles so thank you i hope you have find the good information in this video so please like this video share and subscribe to our channel that's study to it have a great day